Hello, it's Graciela on the side of the screen. Welcome to Power GI. In today's video, we'll see how to send a notification every time a flow fails in Power Automate. For this example, we are going to use email notifications. However, you can do Teams or any other channel that you would prefer. I have here a very simple example of a flow. Every time we receive an email, we get the attachments from the email and we save them to OneDrive. And we usually get notifications from Power Automate when a flow is failing, but sometimes we need to know that every time an issue is happening. That way we can troubleshoot faster and have them up and running faster too. We're gonna add a new step and I'm gonna look for send an email. I'm going to send it to myself but here you can select whoever you need to be notified of it. I'm gonna add a subject and I'm gonna add some details. By adding these details, I'll be able to identify which was the email that is causing issues to my flow. Now, the next part is how to make this card run only if there's an issue with the flow or an error. To do that, we just need to go to the three dots and then there's an option called configure run after. Here we have set up by default this card that it should run only if they apply to each, which is the previous card is successful. In this case, we are going to remove the is successful and we are going to select has failed. And then we click done. Now we are going to test it and you'll see how uh, it completely succeeded because the folder exists, everything was correct with the flow. And the last card didn't run because the previous action didn't fail. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a special character here by using an expression to force the flow to fail. So you can see now we have test folder and then uh, this is special character that is not allowed in OneDrive or SharePoint folders. And now since the naming convention that I gave to the flow was not right it's of course returning an error when creating a file as you can see here i'm getting notified through email that one of my flows have failed immediately after it has failed in this case it was a bit easy to uh, just send a notification because there is just one trigger one card that has some actions and then the flow ends but what should happen if you have a flow like this one that has more than one action. You could try to add uh, one email after each action, but that would be too much. The best thing that can be done for uh, longer flows is adding a new step and looking for the scope action. You can grab all your actions inside the scope card, like I'm gonna do now. And now that everything is grabbed inside this scope, I will add a new step so I can notify whoever needs to be notified. We have several actions grabbed inside one scope and if any of those fail, we're gonna get notified. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Power GI.